Health news is everywhere. What's true? What's fake? How can you tell what information to trust? There is a lot of misinformation out there. Absolutely, there is. Trying to determine what health advice is trustworthy can be really tricky. Unfortunately, it's often the false claims that catch and spread, and a great example of that is the myth that vaccines cause autism. So where did this myth start, the myth that vaccines are associated with autism? Well, it came from a 1998 study that was performed um, on 12 children. There was a group of lawyers and a legal organization that was in the process of preparing a lawsuit against a vaccine uh, company and they recruited some parents and the parents were seeing these symptoms in their children. So this is a situation where there's a causal illusion. People think that there is a causal relationship when it was just a correlation. Yes, totally and completely. Do you think this is a good example of why critical thinking skills are so important in our society? Absolutely, and I think we've forgotten how to ask the right questions. If you were going to give advice to parents uh, about websites and, and how to look at magazines, uh, how to look at research in the media, what would you tell them? So there's actually five questions that you can ask so that you can dig deeper past the headlines. So first is, who funded the research? If the group that funded the research could benefit financially, there's a conflict of interest. The next question is actually who did the research? Do they have the proper credentials and were they benefiting from it? Third, how old is the research? If it's starting to look too old, you actually have to see if any other research has been done because knowledge builds upon knowledge. And then next, where was this work shared? Was it shared on a website? Was it shared in a credible scientific journal? And finally, you need to look at the whole body of evidence. What is all the research saying? If you had one message for parents out there, what would it be? You have to look at, at everything. Don't just be captured by the headlines. Those are there to just grab your attention. Uh, you need to dig deeper. The myth that vaccines cause autism is just one example of a false health claim becoming widespread. When you hear or see a piece of health information, it's so important that you think critically about it before you believe in it. You can start by asking these five questions. First, who paid for the study? And could they benefit financially from it? Who performed the research? Was it a reputable doctor or scientist? How old is this research? Is it older than 10 years old? Where did you find the information about the study? And finally, what does the other evidence or what do other researchers say about the study?